Hi folks. What we got going on here is synthetic gas production. I've taken the carburetor off of the generator. No more fuel line or anything. What we're going to do is stick that down inside of there. See if it won't start up for a while. Well, you can hear it firing up a little bit. Okay, what this might be is now I gotta adjust this air fuel mixture here to the point where it's just right. Okay, it doesn't like that as much as it did because the first one. Well, you can see, I'm almost there. It's just getting that air fuel ratio just right. Another thing I may be doing is that the gas production may not be at high enough rate to keep the engine running. We're going to try it out a few more times. And there we go. That is a generator running completely on synthetic gas. I've been at this for a little while this morning to get it right. I had it running like this a little bit ago. I knew I could get it again. So there you go. That right now is pure synthetic gas. And you can tell as this generator gets going, it's starting to run a little bit stronger. I'm slowly moving my finger with a little air gap around the hose I just tucked down in there in my finger. And I'm using my finger right now as a kind of a valve to allow more oxygen in. You can tell I can shut it down a bit if I seal it off. That's electricity. One more step to turn in the wood stove here into the ultimate energy independent system ever built. And right now, that's a generator creating electricity. That's a 4,000 watt uh, industrial grade generator. So obviously, it can run a smaller system a lot better. That's exciting. That's really exciting to know that right now, that's free energy. I don't have to pay the gas company. I don't have to pay anybody for this. You know, it's uh, some wood off my own property. And right now, that could be power in my house. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit here and let this run. I've gotta put some more wood in the wood stove to allow the temperature to stay hot enough for my thin gas production. I'm getting my airflow mixture a little bit better here. You can tell the generator's running a little better. Now that's awesome, is it not? And just to show you here, Let's kill the generator and we'll pull the hose out. We'll show you that that's what's running it. There you go. You can tell it's going to take just a second for that synthetic gas to start coming back out of the hose. To me, that's awesome. That's one step closer to having a fully independent system that runs on wood. Let's see if we can get it to start back up again. Ha! Look at that! Alright, so now I'm going to make some adjustments. I'm going to finish the mounts. 
I'm going to make an adjustable airflow, obviously. And I'll be able to, when this wood stove system is fully designed and built, the wood stove will be in my house. This will be outside, running, powering my home, anytime the wood stove's up and running. I thought you'd enjoy this as another step in the bio food oil super efficiency wood stove design system. You can tell I'm a little dirty. I've been working on this all morning, but most science is a little dirty. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pull the hose again. That is incredible. Uh, just to show you if I got one on me here, how flammable that synthetic gas really is. There you go. It's right on fire right there. It's an invisible gas uh, flame. I mean, that flame's almost dead clear. Very clean fuel we're producing. We'll put that out again. One more time, see if we can fire this thing up. One pull. You can't beat that. I don't have that. Any gasoline, nothing. I can pull it one time and it fires up my generator. So just a little bit of work. I'll turn the camera back on when the refrigerator... Hold on. I'll turn the camera back on and take another film when I've hooked the refrigeration system and everything else into this. You'll have the crude oil refinery coming through the wood stove and that'll be producing butane and propane just about like this, like you saw in the refinery film. That flame's going to run the refrigeration unit. So that'll run off into your propane-powered refrigerator. That smoke's going to run your generator. The wood stove will heat your house and your hot water and produce crude oil, refine it into gasoline for your car. Until next time, I hope you enjoyed. This was Mr. Tesslonian and the Tesslonian Man Show. On your way out here, we'll just fire it up and let you go out with that. Oh. There we go. Hope you have a great day. Hi folks, Mr. Tesslonian back here again. Uh, I've gotten the generator hooked up a little bit better here. We just lit the fire inside of the, uh, the wood stove reactor here. You can see down in there the, the fire is just starting to light. We're starting to get gasification. You can see it rolling up over the edge there. Alright, so what we're going to do here is just real quickly show you how I've mounted this. Now, so you can see the gas line here coming off the gas feed. Oh, that's the valve. Coming off the gas feed here, nothing going in. There's no carburetor anymore, obviously. I've torn the carburetor off. Yesterday's video, uh, you watched me sit in the black line here coming in right there, inside of the top right there. I had a plug in this side, and I was sticking it down on the top without the valve. Uh, hopefully today, with our valve and everything, uh, able to adjust our airflow in, we should be able to have the gas come straight into the system, and instead of having my finger there trying to adjust the airflow with it, having to hold it there, uh, this time the valve should be able to do everything we need. Uh, let me make sure I've got that valve set open, and it is. We're starting to get just a little bit of smoke coming out. I don't know how well you can see that. Not a lot yet, but uh, so you leave your valve open until you've gotten good syngas production. Once you've gotten that, uh, you're going to want to start slowly shutting this valve down and try to get that air flow just right. Okay, so you can start seeing more and more smoke coming out of there now. It's starting to produce a little bit of smoke. Uh, what we're going to do here is let that get to full syngas production, and then I'm going to fire up the generator again so you can see how it's working. Uh, once again, just to show you down here, all the carburetor has been taken off. It, the carburetor was bolted to here and went out. That's just a T. Uh, gas line coming in and this is so it can blow by while you're firing up and to adjust for fresh air flow uh, After you've got syngas production when the generator is fired up So give me just a moment let that gas fully produce and uh, I'll turn the camera back on and we'll start this thing up and show you how it works All right Well, I've got the synthetic gas now running the generator I'm having a little bit of a hard time because I've got an air leak I don't know how well you'll be able to hear me here. I've got an air leak right there. Tip of my finger. 
All right, so I'm threading just a little due to the vibration. So there you go, it was all about getting the airflow just right. And now the generator's sitting here running. As you can tell here, it goes up into that tank, into the second condenser, into the jar, up into the first condenser, into that tank, the Bryo crude catch tank, and all the way back into the end of the wood stove. So there we go. There's our generator. Now I don't have to hold my finger there. And what I'm going to do now is go get something to hook up to it. We're going to test the load output and see if it'll keep running under load. So give me a moment to go grab something. We'll plug it in and see if it works. We got it running good. Try a little test. That's plugged into the back of the generator. So there's a great load test. That's a pretty good size power tool. It does load it down a little bit, but you can use quite a bit of your tools. So there you go. There's your generator. Powered on wood, let me walk you around. So there you go, there's the cord. All right, well I hope you enjoyed the load test of our generator powered on wood. Till next time, Mr. Teslonian, Teslonian Man Show.